Hello folks, welcome back to another edition of This Weekend at the Movies, the show where we give you guys our quick thoughts on the biggest films coming out each weekend. I'm Rosas Sapanam, and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on the latest Steven Soderbergh movie, Unsane. So Unsane stars Claire Foy as a person that is suffering from something that happened in her past, and when she signs this form at what she thinks is just a support group, she is unwillingly put into a hospital and when she is in this hospital she thinks that she is seeing someone from her past that didn't do good things to her essentially so i am a big steven soderbergh fan and i'm not gonna let you guys steven soderbergh does do a lot of experiments some don't and some do and unsane was actually shot on an iphone which is the reason why i wanted to see this film and plus it's steven soderbergh i mean i love logan lucky I loved Lotions 11. There's quite a few films from him I do love, and I was looking forward to seeing Unsane quite a bit. Claire Foy is absolutely terrific in this film. She and there's a person that she friends. I can't remember the guy's name. I should. Shame on me, but his name is right here. But Claire Foy and this man were the best parts of the entire film. As this film starts off, this film is really good. The mystery is starting to go. You're starting to think if Claire is actually insane or whether she is maybe telling the truth. Like... Stoderberg does a good job at the first half of blending the lines between reality and what could be a nightmare for Claire. And since this film is shot on an iPhone, for a film that is shot on a phone, it looks very good. Now, in the first five minutes, you will clearly notice the quality, but after a while, it honestly doesn't feel that way. Like, it feels like a normally shot film with like a red or an Ari Alexa camera. What Steven Soderbergh does with the iPhone was pretty cool with this movie. But unfortunately, this is one of the few Soderbergh films that I was just not a fan of. Particularly because after the first half of the movie, the mystery is given away way too soon. And because of that, this movie went into a direction that really left a sour taste in my mouth. Now, I get that Soderbergh was going for more of a B-movie feel, but at the same time, I feel like it didn't work in his favor because a lot of the things that happen in this movie are just not believable. Like, there were many many circumstances i was sitting with my friend and we were both going like that wouldn't happen that wouldn't happen that would sure as hell not happen and that wouldn't happen and also when it came to one of the actors i felt like a couple of the actors were overcooking it this is a horror thriller but at times it just shifts from being a serious movie then all of a sudden it goes to a comedy like the, the shifts do not work for me at all guys i do admire soderbergh's efforts quite a bit he tried to tell a good story just using an iphone and while the iphone does showcase for some good cinematography and there's some good acting on all, all and unsane proved to me at least to be a pretty underwhelming horror thriller from a director who i admire a lot so all in all guys i'm gonna give unsane a not recommended i just can't recommend anyone to see this movie maybe some of you may like it but for me personally i just left the film going like eh, it was okay all right guys so comment down let us know below are you guys looking forward to unsane if so please let us know below i hope you guys enjoyed this week's show if so please hit that like button share and subscribe if you guys want to see our previous two reviews please click either right there or there and until next time we will see you guys next week have a great weekend at the movies guys